Good morning, afternoon, or evening. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to Mr. Morrill's Algebra 1 and 2 class. Today we are going to be solving equations that are quadratic in form. Now, some of you may say, what is that? How is that different than what we've been doing? Well, quadratic, if you guys remember, is if I have something like this, x squared plus whatever, 2x minus 8. The squared, the degree of the polynomial, if you guys remember, we're going back a little bit, that's what defines what kind of a function it is, right? So when I have a degree of 2, that's quadratic. Today, we are talking about equations that are quadratic in form. So they're not really quadratic, but we can make some substitutions and manipulations to make it quadratic so we can solve. Let me explain. Sometimes you will have to solve equations that are quadratic in form, but not quadratic at all. They won't have a power of 2 as the leading degree. Okay? It is very easy to solve these types of equations, though, as long as you can evaluate and substitute. So number one. Find the correct substitution using the first and second terms. Must be in standard form using the letter U to rewrite in the form of AU squared plus BU plus C. Let me explain this in English. What happens here? Let's go one by one. First, find the correct substitution using the first and second terms. My friends, do you notice how I have a fourth degree here? This is not quadratic. This is quartic, actually. But do you see your second term? Your second term will always equal this u value that I want you to substitute. So in this particular case, your u is x squared. You always go to your second term. That's why you need it in standard form. If it's not in standard form, you've got to put it in standard form. Remember, highest degree to lowest degree. Your second term there, your second term will always be the u. In this particular case, the u is x squared. So let's rewrite this using u as the x squared value. And let me show you how I can turn this now into a quadratic form. I have x to the fourth, right? But isn't x to the fourth really x squared raised to the second power? So can't I rewrite this as u squared? What is u equal? What's x squared squared? Does that make sense? Okay. Now, plus, what is x squared? u minus 12. Did I not just turn it into a quadratic form? Not that bad, is it? Do you see this, guys? Okay, now, step two, solve for u. It's no big deal. Solve for u. We know how to do this. All times what is negative 12, but when I have to get it is 1. Plus 4, negative 3 x equals, I'm sorry, not, come on, moral. I'm so used to you. Do not do what I just did. That was a very careless mistake. Please be careful. Do not do what I just did. So u equals negative 4 or 3. You guys with me here? Okay. Almost. Now you reverse the substitution. Solve the equation in the original in the original equation using the value of u. What did we say u equaled? So doesn't x squared really equal negative four? And doesn't x squared equal three as well? Do you see this? So now solve for x. Square root of both sides, so x equals plus or minus two i. Or square root of 3. 
plus or minus square root of 3. That's my solution. Talk to me. I hear a lot of people going, what, what? That's why I'm here, to help you. Talk to me. Don't let this scare you. Talk to me. <laughs> Come again, sir? You do not plug this U back into here. No. If you plug that U back into there, you're going to have a very, very long problem. <laughs> okay, it's going to be a lot of work. Don't we know that u is x squared? Aren't we solving for eventually x? So once we know what u is, replace u with the x squared that you already substituted prior. So that makes sense, my brother. Guys? Promise? Hey, there's all sorts of different types of these. So let's go through all the types you're going to see. Number one, A, rather. Not one, but example 2A. Okay. Um, hold on for one second. I think I wrote this incorrectly. Bless you. And I did. I apologize so very much. This should be squared. I apologize. Truly apologize. Please put that squared. Okay? Now, <laughs> in this case, you may think, wait, 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 moral, moral. This is quadratic. No, it's not. When I square a squared term, what does that y become? What is that? A fourth term. So this is, again, a quartic. So what term do I look at? My second term. That is going to be my u. It's going to be the same pattern over and over, guys. So u equals y squared minus 5. So now let's rewrite this using u. What did we say y squared minus 5 was? u squared minus 3 times, what is this? u minus 4. Are you guys seeing this? This is not that bad. Please, stop me. Talk to me. Yell at me. Tell me something. I hear nothing and it's scaring me. Yes, sir. Can I do that part again? Yes, absolutely. Thank you for your honesty. Okay. You understand that I found my U. It's Y squared minus 5. Right, my brothers? Okay. So, guys, pay attention. What is Y squared minus 5 again? U squared. Minus 3 times, what is y squared minus 5? u. Minus 4 equals 0. I simply substituted my y squared minus 5 with a little simple letter called u. Thank you so much for your honesty. Does that make sense? Guys? Okay. Now let's factor. It's the Mickey Mouse time. 1 times 1 is negative 4, but when I have to get it negative 3. Negative 4 and positive 1. So u equals 4 and negative 1. So now, what did we say u was? Four, uh, y squared minus 5, correct? So, let's, come on, scroll down, there we go. So let's, let's do this. We have u, which is y squared minus 5, equals 4, and y squared minus 5 equals negative 1. Does everyone see this? Add 5 to both sides for the first one. y squared equals 9. So y equals plus or minus 3. Right? And then here I add 5. y squared equals 4, square root. y also equals plus or minus 2. Go ahead. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. Okay, I think I had a question. Now, remember, as always, guys, we always got to test things out. Got to test things out. It's just the way it goes. Got to. So let's test this out. Let's make sure that we're good. Okay? 
Plus or minus 3? What's 3 squared? 9 minus 5 is? 4 squared is? 16. Minus 3 times 3 squared is? Minus 5 is? So that's 4. And then minus 4. 16 minus 16 is 0. So plus or minus 3 will work because of negative 3 squared is still the same as positive 3 squared. You with me? Let's test the plus or minus 2. Okay? The plus or minus 2. We'll do that in, in green. What's 2 squared or negative 2 squared? 4 minus 5? Negative 1 squared? Um, minus 3 times what's 2 or negative 2 squared? Minus 5? And then minus 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. It works. Does that make sense, my brothers? You promised me. Okay? Let's do this one now. I got 3x minus 5 square root of x minus 2. This is, believe it or not, in standard form. Because remember, this is x to the first. This is x to the one half. So I am in standard form. Which term do I look at, though, to find my u? Second one. So u equals square root of x. You with me there? Guys? Okay. Please remember that this x, that's x to the first, but doesn't that mean that that's x to the one half squared? Can I rewrite it like that? I can't? <laughs> What's x to the one half squared? X. Why am I choosing x to the one half? What is square root of x, guys? X to the one half. So this is 3u, which is x to the one half, squared, minus 5u, minus 2 equals 0. Cuban method. Cuban method. Negative 6. What times what is negative 6? We're going to have to get negative 5. Negative. No, negative 3 and negative 2 is positive 6. Negative 6, positive 1, artificial factor of 3. So I got u minus 2 times 3u plus 1 equals 0. So u equals 2 or negative 1 third. Am I done? No. U equals square root of x. So that means the square root of x equals 2, and the square root of x equals negative 1 third. Square both sides, x equals 4. Square both sides, and x also equals positive 1 fourth. Is this making sense here, guys? The key here is getting that first U. And then after that, you plug it in and you solve, you solve like normal. It's regular factoring. But the hard part is getting that U. For this one, it was particularly hard. Because a lot of people will say, how do I fit that U into that X? Always try to figure out how I can break down this first term using the second term. Again, X to the first the way I thought about it, since I'm using square root of x, I go, okay, x to the one-half squared. Okay, perfect. Now I can use the x to the one-half. Now I can use my u value. Sir? So one third, where, where do you define? The negative one-third, zero product property. I'm sorry, that's a one-third, not a one-half. That should be a one-ninth. Thank you for that catch, sir. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, next. Okay, what's my middle term? What's my U here? X to the negative 1 right there, right? So that's X to the negative 1. So now let's do this. This is going to be 4 U squared, right? Because, guys, I've got X to the negative 1, negative 2. U is x to the negative 1. Negative 1 squared is negative 2. Plus 13u minus 12. 
equals zero. Okay. Cuban method. For u, for u, negative 48. What times what is negative 48? But now it is positive 13. <laughs> positive 16 and negative 3. Fantastic. So u is going to, whoa, no, 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 no. Artificial factor. Come on, Moro. So u plus 4 times 4u minus 3 equals 0. So u equals negative 4 and 3 fourths. But what did we say u equaled? x to the negative 1. So x to the negative 1 equals negative 4. And x to the negative 1 equals um, 3 fourths. Now, I wonder if you guys remember how to solve something like this. X to the negative 1 equals negative 4. What is x to the negative 1? 1 over x equals negative 4. Cross multiply. 1 equals negative 4x. X equals negative 1 fourth. See what I did there? Basically, I just did the reciprocal, right? So then x to the negative 1 equals 3 fourths. X will equal 4 thirds. It's the reciprocal. Do you see that? You want me to do it out the long way? You sure? Okay. Super duper. Last but not least, what's my U term? A to the one third. So this is U, which is A to the one third, but squared, plus 3U minus 28 equals zero. U and U plus 7, negative 4. So U equals 7. No, negative 7 or positive 4. U is A to the 1 third. So A to the 1 third, hold on, equals negative 7. And A to the 1 third equals 4. Cube both sides. So that's going to be A is, I think, negative 3. Oh, wait, 49, and then 280, and 343. And cube both sides, 64. Of course, you always got to test them out, but that's it. Perfect timing. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Homework is valid. Have a good one. I hope you learned a lot. Bye-bye.